Review time. All right, everybody, it is review time. Uh, today I'm bringing you uh, a exogenous ketone product from ketologic.com. Uh, it's their BHB, keto BHB product. Basically what this is uh, for is increasing your energy, uh, lowering your appetite, suppressing your appetite, excuse me, and uh, it boosts your ketones. Now, before I even get started on the video, everything that I say about this product is my personal opinion based on my experience with the product. So as far as the, the flavor, the mixability, uh, the performance of the product and everything like that is based on my experience. In no way, shape, or form am I saying that this product will or will not work for you. Not one supplement works for everybody and everybody responds differently. So basically, uh, if you want to try it, at the bottom I will post a link to their website where you can check it out and get you know, all the information and try it out. Uh, the, the fine folks over at KetoLogic sent me two of their flavors. I got grape and I got their bombsicle or Patriot Pop, excuse me. Uh, I've tried both, and now I am a grape fan, so the grape was phenomenal. Now, when you mix these, of course, the, the more powder you put, the stronger the flavor. I like my flavor a little bit stronger, so uh, you mix one scoop into eight to 12 ounces of water. I'd put two scoops in about 12 ounces of water, and here's my experience with it. Drinking this, the, the flavor is really, really, really good. Uh, I have to say it's it's pretty, pretty damn good. The only downside to the flavor, it does have a little bit of a, almost like an Alka-Seltzer taste to it. I, I'm assuming that's the exogenous ketones, the, the salt, maybe. Um, as far as energy, uh, after drinking just even a three or four swallows, it was pretty, I wouldn't say instant, but it was pretty quick as far as you feel you feel like a million bucks. It's not the kind of energy that you would get from caffeine uh, or ephedra or anything like that. It's actually just a natural flow of energy and I felt really, really good. So I wanted to try this in a couple of different ways before I posted my review on it. I wanted to drink it as a pre-workout. I wanted to drink it as an intra workout and also as a post-workout. Then I also wanted to try it just sipping on it throughout say, a four to six hour period and then drinking it just later on in the day all at once and here's what I found all right I do intermittent fasting so from 12 o'clock noon till 6 o'clock p.m. is my eating window that's when I get all my macros in and I'm also following a ketogenic diet uh, the pros and cons to this even though it's a ketogenic product it will knock you out of your intermittent fasting it will take you right out of it uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing if it's time to break your fast this is this is actually a really good way to do it uh, the pros and cons to drinking it pre-workout I uh, sip on it on the way to the gym I had plenty of energy uh, felt like a million bucks but about halfway through the workout it kind of puttered out but that's that's me uh, it could be my training style could be Maybe the moon wasn't in line or, or whatever, but it just didn't last the full workout for me. But it actually, I'd, I'd give it an, a seven out of a 10 for his pre-workout. All right, then uh, the next time I tried it, I did an intro workout. So just sipping it throughout the workout. And again, even though when I would take a few sips, it would bring me up and then it would slowly put her back down. I'd take a few more sips, it'd bring me back up. Then it was just kind of like this. It wasn't a steady flow of energy for me. I reluctantly decided to do it on the next day as a post-workout. I, I, I didn't really see the need, but I just wanted to see what it would do. Now, after training a heavy leg day, I was tired. I was a little bit beat because I, I really try to beat the living hell out of my legs. Uh, so by drinking it all at once, instead of sipping on it, I just went ahead and just chugged it on down. Uh, man, I felt I felt great. And, and that energy actually lasted a little bit, a little bit longer than as far as pre-workout and inter intro workout, it lasted a good uh, while longer. Uh, then another time that I wanted to try, I wanted to just sip on it while I was at work. So I didn't want to sip on it through the whole eight hour shift. So I just started sipping on it the last, you know, four, maybe five hours of my shift. And what I noticed is as soon as I took a few swallows, it would bring me up within, I would say within two or three minutes, I had energy. 
uh, and then maybe I would say 10 minutes later, start coming back down. Take a few sips, back up. Again, we had this roller coaster of energy. But when the energy was there, it was phenomenal. I, I, I like I said, I wasn't jittery. It wasn't like drinking coffee or a pre-workout uh, with caffeine or ephedra in it or anything like that. It was just a really good feeling of steady flow energy. But like I said, for me, it just kept doing up and down thing. And then I decided to say, you know, about halfway through my shift one day, I just drank the whole jug, or not the whole jug, excuse me. I took two scoops, put it in about 12 to 14 ounces of water, put it for a dry light, it get good and cold, and I just started drinking it. Uh, the energy lasted a lot longer. Uh, I, I have found that you just can't sip on it here and sip on it there. I mean, you could if you like getting a little bit of a spike and then 10, 15 minutes later, it, it drops down a little bit. I kind of don't like that roller coaster, so I just decided to drink it all at once. And like I said, it lasted, I want to say, a, a good hour, a good hour of steady flowing energy. So, uh, but I do want to say, now this would be a totally separate video on my thoughts of exogenous ketones. They are a good fuel source, but if you believe that exogenous ketones put you into ketosis, they do not. Uh, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of products out there that claim to put you in ketosis within, within an hour. That's complete horse crap. That does not happen. But again, that's a different video. I'm not going to go there with this one. So if you're looking for a product that's keto friendly, that tastes great, that has some pretty damn good energy, uh, and if you, if, especially if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're looking to break your fast and you just don't want to eat, this is your go-to product. Like I said, grape is, uh, of course, my favorite. It's phenomenal. And then their Patriot Pop, uh, I've tried it two or three times. It's actually, it's really good too. But being a grape fan, this is my go-to product. So uh, like I said, there's a link posted at the bottom uh, for you to click on, check their uh, products out. They've got meal replacements and other products on there that you could try. But just remember, they are supplements. They're not designed to put you in ketosis in an hour. They're not designed to re really replace nutrition. Food is first, especially if you're on a ketogenic diet or hell, any diet. Food is number one. Supplements are number two. So just use them periodically. Don't rely on them to do the work for you. Uh, so check out ketologic.com. I got the link uh, posted below. They also have an affiliate program if you want to spread the word for them and uh, get their, their name out there. You can make a few bucks off of it. So uh, that's it. So I uh, hope this video was informative. Be sure to like and share the video. And if you want to, you can uh, click the little bell below. It'll alert you every time I make a wonderful video with these product reviews. And uh, let me know what you think. All right, have a good day.